Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and I'm here today with episode two of my Samscription, my coloring book Samscription. What is that you may ask? If you do not see episode one, basically there are a few coloring subscriptions going around like Coloring Heaven Magazine and the Mystery Colors and I love the idea of getting a subscription but I don't always love like the topics in those books. So I would just be really sad to get a subscription and not like it, which I feel like that makes sense. I actually have really terrible luck with mystery things. I'm, I don't know why I do them. But anyway, uh, so my solution to this problem was every once in a while, I don't know how often this will actually happen, but I will have my husband, Sam, go into my Amazon wish list and pick something at random. So it is randomly delivered to me like a subscription but it's from my wish list so in theory I'll like it. So this is the second time we're doing this and if you can believe it I've had this package for like a month. No that's too long like a week and <laughs> I haven't gotten to open it because I haven't been able to film. So it's from Amazon. He accidentally tore into it because he forgot but he didn't take it out and I haven't looked yet either and I'm very excited. So in theory we're going to open this see what it is and then color from it. So let's see what we got. Ready? Ooh. Oh my gosh, I should have known. <laughs> so he picked Circulism Art Book, Color by Number, Chonk. This book makes me laugh. Um, it's basically a bunch of fat animals. <laughs> ah, so I'm pretty excited to see what we get what page we get it's hard there's not many examples but obviously this is a very fat pigeon so that is kind of your example all right let's see I think I'm going to attempt to just use as many of my thick intensities as I can since they're right here on my desk so hopefully that will work out but I should have known he would pick this let's see I'm gonna also work from the back because that's what I frequently do and let's pick out a few of our colors before we get into it because I don't, like I said, I don't know if I have all of them in this set. Okay, so we need lime green, green, and dark green. So three shades of green. I'm going to say lime, green, dark green. Great. We need dark orange. So I only have one orange. This is where my, I'm, my problems are coming Dark orange, red, dark red, and orange. These are my only orange choices. So I guess that's gonna be red and orange, and then I'll have to get the other two when we move about. Okay, pink, do you think that's dark pink? Pink, dark pink, dark, oh, medium brown. Medium brown, dark violet. Tell me, look at the... Dark violet 17. Okay, so that's our dark purple. Our indigo blue is secretly like lighter. It might actually be that one. I know they're off screen. I don't know if you can see them. Indigo blue, dark blue. We're gonna do that one. Regular blue, I guess will be that one. And black. So we have everything but dark orange and dark red, which is not too bad. We'll see how much they actually take up and we will get them at the end. Hopefully we'll be able to finish a whole page. We shall see. Um, yeah, I usually keep my coloring chats around half an hour. And also, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I have brownies in the oven. So that's gonna be a deciding factor in how long we're here for. I'm gonna start off with red because that's what's at the top. So we're just gonna get into it. And I don't, I love doing the back page first cause then I don't use a blotter and we just see how much actually bleeds through. This is the like premium paper. So it doesn't bleed as much as normal, but sometimes the last page will because it is, um, not always the back of it is premium, which is interesting. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I talk too fast and it's annoying because then I run out of things to talk about faster. But yes, let's just get into it. I also can't really tell what animal this is, 
which I'm pleased with. It'll be a little bit of a mystery. I wonder if like this is the face and that's the tail. I don't know. Hopefully we get enough done that we can tell. Um, what was I going to say? Yes. Now you have seen all of my coloring collection. Um, that's very exciting. I hope everybody enjoyed. It was eight full parts. Uh, I, I, at the very end, I did like a disclaimer of like, yes, I understand it's a lot of books. And it just made me laugh because I got like one negative comment the whole time. And it was like on the very first video. It was someone being like, oh, let's have a brag. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I wanted to snarky respond, but I did not. But overall, it was very positive feedback. And I don't care either way. You know that. So, um, yeah, the only number that upset me was my 130 uncolored books. So I'm debating, um, trying to get that number down. I'm not debating that, but I'm debating journaling it and trying to figure out how to journal it because I am a pencil and paper. Nope. That's the same thing. No, that's not the same thing. I thought I said paper and paper. I'm a pencil and paper girly. I don't really like doing spreadsheets on the computer and things like that. I'm much more likely to do it in, in pencil. And the only thing that's hard about that is that it's harder to like sort things once you've made your decision. So like if I put my books in alphabetical order on pencil and paper and then I get a new book and it's right in the middle, I can't like just shift and make a new tab. So that gets difficult. But what I think I'm going to do is make a page in my journal that just says 130 to start and then like go green if I go down. I actually, I did start it. Let's just show you what I did. It's very, very basic and I don't know what more I'm going to do to it. But yeah, so I had 130 untouched and then I colored in two of them so far. So I went 129, 128. And now I'm going to put this one in and it's going to go back up to 129, but I'm coloring from it. So it's going to go back down to 128. In which case, I'm not even sure if I'm going to put it in. You know, that doesn't make sense. But anyway, so that is my plan is to kind of keep track and see if I can get that number down. Um, just because it's sad because I want to say, I'm going to say 95% of my books I was very, very excited to get. I will say that five of them were impulse buys or gifts from, see, I'm not the best at gift giving randomly. <laughs> so I will say that there's maybe a 5% that I wasn't like over the moon to, to get originally. So that being said, I want to color from the books because I like them. Also, I'm gonna switch this color because I think it's just background and I wanna know what our critter is. Let's do, there seems to be a lot of 15. Or should we go right for what I think is the face? That's 17. Let's give it a shot. This is not how I usually color these. So this will be fun. But yeah, so I'm just gonna work on getting that number lower. Um, I've told you about my system for buying books before that I essentially give myself a credit for every 10 pages colored and this will count as using up a credit because I did ask him to do this Sam scription. So I'm not worried about that there. I don't usually count my Disney books though. We'll see, I'm not sure if I'm gonna change that or not. Um, yeah, May has been a doozy of a month for me. It has not been the best. <gasps> Is this a hippo? Oh my gosh. Now I want this to be the hippo head and the hippo butt. That'd be very exciting. I love hippos. Um, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, May has been a very, a doozy. I'm not going to get into super details, but it has been a rough one. And yeah, it's been a little frustrating and that's why I haven't gotten to film. And 
haven't been getting to do much of anything I've been wanting to do. So I'm hoping that the June and the summer months look up for me. Yeah, so. My, I was so happy to have all my collection videos pre-filmed. I was like, that'll give me a good long time to get on top of my game. I did not fell right off my game. Luckily, I had that volume 10 come in so I could do a quick flip and at least that's something up. Because what you may or may not know about um, YouTube, this is some like, I guess, behind the scenes information. Once you get monetized, um, they really want you to be uploading regularly. And essentially, the more you upload, the better your numbers are, like your behind the scene numbers. And if you take breaks or like mess with your schedule, things can go awry. So having those really steady uploads was really great, but then dropping off is not great again. So I was hoping to stay consistent, but obviously it was a lot of external life things going on, so. What can you do? I don't really have much to talk about because I have, don't have much um, public stuff going on, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Oh, I played some virtual games on Discord today and that was actually a lot of fun, but it's possible that it's only free for like a month. It's apparently Discord's birthday. I don't know when exactly their birthday is, so they're like letting you play all these games, but there, I think there's a charged or a paid version of Discord, which is kind of crazy. And we have a feeling that all the games are gonna go away and they're gonna try to make you pay for it, which I have no intention of doing. Ooh, speaking of like subscriptions and things like that, did you hear the rumors? I don't know if the rumors are true that Disney Plus and Hulu are merging into one app. I'm very confused about that, how that's gonna work out. And I think I'm frustrated because I pay for Disney Plus and my dad plays, pays for Hulu. And then obviously we both just share because I don't know anybody who pays for all their own subscriptions. So I don't know, like that's gonna be really annoying because it's not even gonna be a discount. I guess one of us just won't have to pay anymore, but I don't wanna like lose all of the, my saved information, like um, to watch lists and things like that. I don't know, I have all the streaming services and I don't watch any of them. Right now I have been very obsessed with watching Taskmaster. I might've talked about this in a video before, I'm not positive, but um, I originally found it on TikTok and I first watched Taskmaster Australia, which is one of the spinoffs, and there was only one season. And so now I started watching Taskmaster UK, and I think there's been like 15 seasons of UK, but I watched the first episode and I was like, yikes, I don't like this at all. Like Australia was so much better, but I think I just wasn't jiving with the original um comedians also i didn't explain what the show was so if you're from the u.s like me and have not seen this show before basically it is every season is five different comedians and then they have to do tasks and they'll just get like a vague task and they have to figure it out so what's a good example the one i just watched earlier today was they had to, they each got a balloon and they had to fit the largest item they could in the balloon and then blow it up to be bigger than their head. And the person that won put like nine cherry tomatoes and two crackers in the balloon and called it bruschetta. So they're all comedians. So in theory, they should be funny. And then some of the tasks are vague and hard to figure out, but it's just really cool to like see how different people interpret things. And it's just been really funny. So I'm currently on season five and some of the earlier seasons didn't have very many episodes even the later seasons don't either i think the max episodes in one season is 10 so 
it has been a lot of fun and they're actually all on YouTube. They have a official Taskmaster website or YouTube. So if you are in the US and want to check it out, I highly recommend it. That's also where Taskmaster Australia was. They had their own YouTube. So I really loved Australia though. I'm excited to see season two. I know they're filming it now. Because I like follow one of the hosts now on TikTok. And he is like back on location. But that has been a lot of fun. And I'm really bad at watching things. Especially new things. I just like, I don't know, my focus hasn't been great. Which I've been complaining about this for a little bit now. But I just, it's easy to focus on these shows. Because like, it's an hour show separated into six different tasks. So it's like very easy to just like jump in pause if you need to kind of situation so who knows but that's what I've been doing and that's what I'm going to keep on doing for a while I think we were watching the nanny which I think I talked about too but we didn't end up finishing that yet I think we're like in the middle of season four and I think there's six seasons something like that so yeesh gotta get back to that it goes crazy at the end I didn't realize or I didn't remember how long they were like pushing them to be a couple it obviously makes sense but I'm, back in the day when you're watching it in the 90s you're watching one episode a week and it doesn't feel as overpowered but now when you're binging it and you're watching six episodes in a day it's very in your face all right I'm gonna switch colors just again I want to try to get an idea of what we're looking at. Oh, see, there's the eyeball. Yeah, this got to be a hippo. That's so exciting. I love hippos. I've mentioned before, I'm not really into animals, which I don't, it sounds bad, but whatever. It is what it is, but I do like sea critters, and then I like the big land animals. So I like like elephants, my boy the hippo, giraffes, and rhinos are probably my favorite land creatures. So what should I try now? Um, it's a lot of purple. Maybe I'll outline them a little bit. What's 15? Dark pink, all right. The dark pink, light pink makes me nervous because I don't, I hope this is like the color that they wanted. Is my arm very in the way? Yes. Sorry about it. <sighs> it's so funny because again, I don't color like this normally. So it's like weirdly freeing to just randomly color because it's very, Random, yeah. What else is going on? I don't even know. Do I have any plans the rest of this month? Hold on, I'm peeking again at my little notebook next to me. I don't think I wrote anything down. Today, as I'm filming, is actually Emily's birthday. He's my bestie. I keep mixing up her YouTube name and her Instagram name on YouTube. She is color me impressed, but she doesn't film anymore. So there's really no reason to know that. And then on Instagram, she's butterfly hater. So that's exciting. And it was funny though, because I made flames with my friend Lydia. Emily, if you don't know, lives in Chicago and I live in New Jersey. So I wrote her birthday in my planner and then I went to make plans with my friend Lydia, who also lives in New Jersey. And I was like, oh no, I'm busy that day. But unfortunately, I'm not actually busy because I cannot see her on her birthday. So just had to chat via text message. But all that to say, the rest of the month, next week is Memorial Day. Historically, we go to my uncle's house and have a barbecue, but we shall see because the last few years got wonky with COVID and whatever. So I do kind of expect that's what's gonna happen, but I have no formal invitation yet. They're currently 
fostering a dog with hopes to adopt, but they have to see if it's compatible with their current dog. So I have not yet met the puppy, but that has the potential to be very exciting. I was scared of noodles when she was a puppy. Everyone's like, why? And I'm like, I, I've never really interacted with dogs. I didn't know what to do with her. That's it. And like puppies bite. And obviously it's not intentional, but puppy teeth are sharp. So I was just like afraid of the idea of being bitten. So, but yeah, if that happens, the parade goes right in front of their house. So in the past, we used to like go over for the parade, but now we kind of wait it out, I think. So, and my dad is potentially marching in our town's parade because now he's a member of the Elks. So if he marches in our towns, I'm going to have to stake that out and go and take his picture. So we shall see. But he's not sure if he wants to. He's like, I'm just going to offer to shuttle people so that I can be involved but not have to march it. And I was like, all right. So who knows? But yeah. What else? But that should be it for the end of May. And in June, um, my dad's actually going on a little beach vacation. He'll be gone for a few days. He's been waiting for that, so that's exciting. And then uh, we might go to pick some strawberries. That's on the docket. And is Father's Day June or July? I always mix it up because my mother-in-law's birthday is in June. So in my head, they're not in the same month, but I have a feeling that they are. So that's a thing. My dad likes to barbecue for holidays like that. So that's probably what he'll do again. And at the end of the month, we, we potentially might go like to a cabin with Sam's family, but it is not set in stone yet. So that's another thing. <laughs> I'm almost positive that this is a hippo, but I am also running short on time already, which is kind of impressive how fast this is going and how slow I am going. I always say that, that I expect these pictures to be super fast and then they're not. So... But yes, as for other summer plans, we're hoping to see a bunch of movies coming to theaters. It's nice that like summer blockbusters seem to be back. I'm probably going to see the new Little Mermaid. Anybody else? Let me know. Um, I'm nervous because I just historically don't like how they do live action like um, animals, like uh, Flounder and Sebastian look terrifying. So we shall see, but Little Mermaid is one of my all time absolute favorite animated movies, really overall movies. And Part of Your World is my favorite Disney song. So I have high hopes. Oh no, I think there's a fly in here. I That's my least favorite thing about summer season. <laughs> I'm really bad at things I can fly and the doors closed because I'm filming. So that's unfortunate. But my dad always leaves the back door, like the sliding door open because he'll like let snoodles run in and out. But then there's always one fly. And I don't know if this happens to anybody else. We never get more than one fly in the house. It's always one. And then if like we kill this one, then we'll get one more. Never two at once, which thank gosh, but one terrible fly at a time. And it seems to always be one. So that is the downside of summer for sure. I'm like, I can hear it, but I can't see it. <sighs> okay, let's do one more color switch and see what we got. 17 is the same color. Ugh, there's so much of the same few colors, which makes sense, but like, 
It's not fun to watch. What's 20? Regular blue. Hopefully that's this color, because it is now. I feel like my red looks more like dark red than I was intending. So there's a good chance that I will just only use red for both red and dark red, especially since it seems like it's gonna be just background. So we'll see. I know about, usually I like to like do speed color and come back and show you the result, but I don't know how much longer I can sit at my desk. So you might have to go to Instagram to see the results there. Is that all the 20s after all this? That was it? Cool. What's 19? It's dark blue. I'm like scared of all these colors. 14. There's not too much of that. Regular pink. <sighs> Yeah, so you might just have to check out my Instagram or wait for the finished pages of the month to see the answers. Hopefully it's there because I can't promise I'm going to finish this page right now either way. <laughs> but Yes. This is definitely a hippo. That's very exciting. Actually, my most recent Squishmallow purchase was a hippo. I collect Squishmallows way more than I should, but they're very cute. They're just a jolly little pick-me-up. So I have a hippo. Actually, I actually have two hippos. I have a big blue hippo, and then I have a cute little pink hippo. My watch just texted somebody? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I received a text. I thought I sent one, and I was like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, also I know some people like much longer color and chats and I do like watching longer ones. I just don't like filming longer ones. I will be honest with you. I just don't have much to say. So if I ever come up with like a theme of something to talk about, like when I used to do my Disney themed color and chats a few years ago, it was much easier to talk for longer. But like if I have to just talk about what's going on in my life, there's not much, there's not much. <laughs> So that's why this is so short. So I apologize if you are a fan of the longer ones. All right, do we see any more 14s? Nothing is standing out. So that might be the end for now. I really do think that this is a hippo. That's our hippo eye and this is our big hippo booty. So sorry that this is all I got done, but yes, check on Instagram for the final result. Thank you to Mr. Sam for giving me my subscription. He's not in the room right now, but I will thank him, of course. And let me know what you think of this series. Um, it's really just fun to just like get something from your wish list. So I don't know if you have anybody to give you a subscription. I highly recommend it. And that's all from me. Um, I guess, if, is there a hippo emoji? I think there is. So if there's a hippo emoji, drop down, drop that down in the comments. Or if you secretly think this is something else, you can drop that too. I don't think so, but maybe the chonky version it is. Also, like, there's like a swoosh here. So I don't know if this is, I think this is all background. But TBD, I suppose. And I, what is my outro? Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed Comment anything you want to comment down below, including our secret word slash emoji hippo. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time and I'm trying really hard to get new videos out to you. And I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye friends.